All right, y'all, so I just want to tap in with y'all. My kids have been out actually since spring break. They were on spring break when the announcement came that the schools were shutting down. So they just haven't returned to school since then, since the beginning of March. And I don't expect school to be returning for the rest of the year. I even think it may overlap into the beginning of the next school year come August, especially if people aren't staying home and taking the precautions and really like taking this whole situation seriously. But I really want to talk to y'all about the whole homeschooling and the curriculums and what we as parents are doing now. Because at first I was like, dang, you know, we're going through food more often. This is really affecting my work schedule. Trying to, it, the virus itself has affected my work schedule because all of the things I usually do involve being around people. But this so, even more so, is hindered me from being able to work from home as much. You know, I've honed in on my, my time management, like completely on a different level now and maintaining the cleanliness of the house. Um, but yeah, I, I'm finding positive in this whole situation when it comes to homeschooling, I guess, because I didn't like the curriculums anyway, no shade. I didn't like how or what my kids were being taught. And I feel like now is a chance for us to teach our children our history. Of course, mine are going to learn their Black history and their culture, but this is for any race. Like, teach your kids your roots. Teach them things that are going to help them survive and, and, and function in a world, in the real world. You know, I feel like the, the education system was teaching them things that they wanted them to believe, them to believe, for a world that doesn't exist. And and they had a huge factor. Schools have a huge factor in our children being who they become. And I feel like now at this time, I can really put in so much effort into teaching my children the things that they're supposed to know, the things that they, they, they cannot live without. Helping build them even more so in a better way to being the person that, not that I want them to be, but the person that they're supposed to be in a sense and part of who I want them to be. Yeah, fuck that. They're my kids. They're going to be amazing. But, you know, we don't have these outside factors affecting us anymore. So I just want to see what are you guys doing with your kids. I have a sixth grader and one that would be going into kindergarten this year. Um, so he wasn't, he was already at home for the most part, but we've been gardening. My oldest mowed the backyard for the first time ever. And I'm so proud. He did a really good job. Really, really great job. We've been cooking. Um, we've been decluttering the house, learning a new language. We've been drawing, having art contests, different types of arts and crafts. Um, playing old school games, you know, and just maintaining and making the best of this. I, me personally, I have been having to use my me time. Y'all saw that episode of Family Guy when Stewie's like, mommy, mom, mom, mommy. It's like on a thousand right now, times two. If you got four kids, then your shit is on 4,000 for real. <laughs> but um, we got to find the positive. I think now's the time to love your neighbor. If you're not out here loving thy neighbor, like that shit is real. You know, with, with the way... Shoot, my phone's about to die. But with the way the world is going right now and seeing how the grocery stores are, we don't know. I think that's the part that makes it a little scary is we don't know how long this is going to be for. And even once this is over, some people, I know me, like I may not ever go back to the same way of living. I don't ever, ever want to experience, experience this or my kids on a economic level not having food and groceries we we had but i mean not having them always there like the way the fact is that the shelves are bare to um even my employment i don't ever want to have to go through a, a career again or a profession again that may not survive a virus like whoever like I never thought like I, I really thought I was pre prepared like I'm social media savvy uh, I'm a great host I'm a people person you know I never ever prepared for anything like this but 
yeah, now it's the time for us to all build and grow. Um, if you're not okay with yourself, it's okay. And now is also the time to learn to love yourself. Learn, learn who you are, what you like, what you don't like. Listen to your spirit. Listen to your guide. Listen to, you know, your intuitions. Now is the time to embrace evolve and 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 build and grow i feel like if you have a trade you got to be good with, you better be you better be good with your hands you better have some kind of knowledge some kind of skill because i feel that bartering is going to be a very important thing again at this time or i would say bc 2019 before corona 2019 you know it's all about the mighty dollar but the fact is now there, now more than ever, people don't have that money. You have to be willing to trade. You have to be willing or you have to have a service. So if you could fix cars, if you could do hair, do nails, you can grow. If you're growing something and you know somebody else has a garden, you need to see if you guys have anything that aren't similar so you can share crop. People out here stocking up on ramen noodles, just asking for high cholesterol. When, when, when you need to learn how to cook, plenty of YouTube videos out there. Learn how, how to sustain your living and your lifestyle. I don't feel that because we live, if, even if you're on a budget and even in these circumstances, you deserve a good meal. Buy a bag of potatoes, buy some rice, sugar, flour. Love thy neighbor because if the, if the store don't have any, your neighbor might, you know, you may need some tomatoes and your, 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 your neighbor or somebody, you know, is growing celery, share that shit. But we have to come together. We have to build and grow and, um, learn ourselves and do what we can in these times. You know what I'm saying? For me, I ain't gonna lie. I almost had a breakdown in life once. It was just too much at once. But me as a woman and me as a slightly crazy person, I feel like a breakdown is normal every so often. So it was it was just that time anyway. <laughs> but um, spend these time with your children. Don't be mad because other people ain't out there teaching them because really they weren't getting the proper education, the proper attention. They're not necessarily around kids or other people you would want them to be around anyway. So it is what it is. You know, we, we usually keep our kids to a certain age and we, we, we send them off to a school, but there's nothing wrong with them being home. As a matter of fact, if you're looking for daycare, daycares are closed, but you got to work. I, I understand too that like the, the amount of latchkey kids probably is going to go up at a younger age. Imagine how old you were when you first got your first house key. I'm a I'm a I'm an eighties baby, raised in the nineties, so I, maybe I should say nineties baby. Um, so for me that was like a normal era, but teaching your kids the guidelines and the rules and stuff. And if you don't feel comfortable, there could be a neighbor out there who is looking for work, who recently got laid off, who could use some help. Y'all know unemployment is gonna take forever. Y'all know these stimulus checks are gonna take a minute. Y'all haven't blown through your income tax check yet. You, you might still be lucky. But think about your neighbors and see how we could be a resource to each other. Maybe they could watch your children. I know I, I'm not the type to give my children off to anybody to watch. However, at a time like this, it's going to take people to come together. Still with social distancing, but finding ways to continue coming together with your children, with yourself, with, with everything that's going on. All right. Anyways, y'all, I just wanted to tap in as always. Keep the faith the hustle.